ready to laugh some more as we get ready to receive Ryan Barry. Monty, Monty, Monty. I'm sorry. This is all about it. You've always been a Christian, quite a few years. Victory and faith, but I failed in my fears. How did you know that was my chance? Uh, yeah. In case uh, anybody was confused, I'm uh, not Asian. Now, welcome to the affirmative action part of the show. <laughs> Got his quota. Good, we got the government funding. Good stuff. That's what I like. There are a lot of different faces. You know, at her church shows, I thought it was going to be a black church show, but there's white, black, Asian, and we can all agree on one thing the Haitian accent is always fun. <laughs> you can just say, oh, and it's, that's it. It's done. And, uh, I read something interesting, actually. Uh, I like to read about other religions occasionally. I read uh, Jehovah's Witnesses believe only 144,000 people go to heaven. That's it. Why they keep recruiting? <laughs> Slow down, you're messing your chances up. That's a long way to It's like trying to get key season tickets. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I do a lot of uh, urban rooms, which is what white people say for black because they feel guilty. Yeah. And I, like, like, I like being able to see the other side, you know, to, to learn about the other culture and show that I, I don't understand a lot of it. But mostly I do it just to tick off white folks. So, but they'll say stuff like, you need to do other types of rooms, you need to diversify, you know, you need to, to do a broader range. But in these urban rooms, there's a lot of diversity, there's a lot of different colors, you know? Like you got, um, black, off black, black black, uh, bright smile black, black out black, chalkboard, uh, charcoal, window tint, uh, Midnight space. You got a uh, brown, dark brown, light brown, body brown, Chris Brown, uh, Jim Brown, James Brown, Joe Joe Brown. Uh, you got mocha, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, Raven's chocolate, caramel, Milky Way, Three Musketeer, Nougat, uh, M and M. You got red bone, yellow bone, milk bone, trombone. Mahogany, maple, oak, cherry, tree bark, uh, almond, chestnut, walnut, peanut, donut, uh, you got tumbleweed, desert sand, desert storm, Sahara, uh, I know there's some more, uh, red rock, Grand Canyon, scorched earth, purple, and Wesley Snipes. <laughs> If I left anybody out, I'm sorry. I don't like to discriminate. Yeah. It took me all week to memorize that crap. It was worth it. Yes, yeah, so obviously there's some patients here. Stop, I'll say. Very good. First time I heard that, I didn't know what it was. I just, like, stop, I'll say. I don't have any money. Yeah, I, but I, uh, I had my first patient experience a few months ago. I was at going to a concert. Uh, went to the parking lot. Patient security guard. And those guys take the jobs up very seriously, of course. Yes, they do. So he's like, he's like, go in that way and park with the aqua. So I'm like looking for a blue car, right? And I can't circle it, I can't find it. And then it flips on me, and he's like, where are you going? You're going the blue way. That's the problem with the aqua. I'm like, I don't see a blue car. He's like, no, it's silver. I'm like, it's as silver as an aqua. And then I saw it, and I was like, ah, oh, you meant the Acura. <laughs> Uh, I love my Jamaicans too. Bullets. Bullet. Good bullet to you, sir. I'm also with you. I love Jamaicans, man. I love the food. I love some oxtail. I love the music. But God, are they obsessed with that air horn, aren't they? Oh, they play that everywhere. Uh, I remember I was at a Jamaican funeral. Yeah, pastors in front of the altar giving the eulogy, and I'll stand there like, let us pray for the soul of young Winston. I think the body wanted to rewind because he jumped out of the cast and was like, pull up! Was 
Everyone's got a second chance. That's not fair. It's BS. Yeah. I learned uh, being a part of black culture, there are some things I just can't do in front of black people. Uh, dancing is one of them. It doesn't matter how good of a dancer you are if you're this white, believe me. I can soldier boy, it doesn't matter. I, I remember I was at a I was at a friend's cookout, he had a fair reunion, black fair reunion. I'm dancing, feeling the music, doing my thing. His grandmother comes up to me, he thinks I'm possessed. <laughs> He's like, I know your white friend doesn't have any rhythm. That's the devil! The devil's in that boy! <laughs> and starts throwing holy water at me and hitting me with her Bible. And I want to let you think she's healed me, but I don't know how to speak in tongues. So I did the next press ring. I did the bust around choir to Chris Brown's with me now in Fanny. Because that's cool stuff. It sounds like gibberish. Right? Roll my eyes in the back of my head, I'm like, because every time I come, I'm like, I said, then I gotta go, then I gotta get it, then I gotta blow, then I gotta show, I did the wrong thing you do, because it's a five, then I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it's alright, you got the Holy Ghost, baby, it's okay, Mom got you, you think that, child, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, man, it's, it's good times. Good times. I'm doing much better than I thought I would. It's fantastic. Thank you, guys. I'm uh, single now. Broke up with my girlfriend a few months back. Yeah, all right, I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, my dad told me to find a Christian woman. There you go. ChristianSingles.com is not working out. No, it's not. No. Yeah, so I'm single, and I knew we weren't going to make it. Because, yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm gonna get advice from you there. Yeah. No, but you can tell if your relationship is gonna last based on how far in advance you're willing to plan things, right? So you're in a good, you're in a good relationship. You guys look happy, right? She comes to you, she's like, baby, I got a great deal on a cruise. If we book it five months in advance, it's half off. You get excited, right? You're like, yes, book that, done. And you go and you have a great time. My girlfriend asked me, uh, I think it was like back in May, hey, uh, Coldplay's got my favorite band. Do you want to go? I'm like, huh. I don't know if we're doing June good, you know. <laughs> what are you doing Wednesday? I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I just, I don't want to break up with her. I just wish I could be like the world's best hypnotist and put her to sleep for a month to get some peace once while I know the keyword like they do. They just, yeah. Yeah. Like she doesn't like to do all these comedy shows, so we always give me some crap for it. It's like, you're doing all these comedy shows, you can't see me. You can be five minutes down the road, can't come see me ever, save it after, and potato. Sleep. <laughs> Problem solved, right? So I'm dating, I don't discriminate, don't care what color you are, where you're from, doesn't matter. You look good, you look good, right? Uh, I will say there is one type of woman that does make me weak in these, it is kind of my weakness, and that is dark skinned women with white girl voices. Oh my god. Oh, oh does anything, yeah. Seriously, does anything go better with a glass of milk than Oreo? Come on, it's delicious. Like, you can be my mom on the phone. Can't, can't Skype. You can talk to her, that's cool. Uh, but you can't be possessive with a black woman, that doesn't fly, right? Not at all. I can't question where she's been. She's partying with the girls. Like, baby, I've been calling you, I've been texting you, I've been worried sick, where have you been? Like, you don't follow me! No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, like about black culture though. Um, one thing is ghetto reality shows. They're not fun. Yeah, and basketball wise, love and hip hop, real housewives of anywhere, they're all trash, right? It's every stereotype of the sun. But if you're gonna do it, go all the way. You know, don't don't go halfway with it. If I do it, I'm gonna take all these ghetto women, put them on an island somewhere, make a game show the losers, never allowed to do TV again. Right? Gonna be a nice English host, because you like have to, right? Like, hello, I'm your host, Nigel, and welcome to Ghetto Island. <laughs> Let's meet our contestants. Shanene, Tay Tay, Jalandra, Rohandra, Obama Iqua, Kuladria, Congratulations, and Becky. It's now time for a weekly weave challenge. The first team to successfully make a lace work wig using only bamboo, mud, and pop balls to receive immunity. But it's time for our closing ceremonies. Someone must leave Ghetto Island. 
Congratulations. <laughs> Becky, it's down to you. The gangs have spoken. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Your time on Ghetto Island has come to an end. Please pour out your liquor. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works, you guys. Yeah. Another thing I don't like, I used to love rap when it was good in the 80s and the 90s. Now it's awful, you know? The, the lyrics used to mean something. They actually have good content, right? Now, I don't even know what the lyrics are, right? Like, oh, that's a lyric. He wrote that, right? I remember his, his, well, the last time I heard of my chip bad, looking like a bag of money. And your chip has a horrible figure. Have you seen a bag of money? It's lumpy and pear-shaped. Either you need to get better standards or find better objects to compare your chicks to, Mr. Ross. Your bad boyfriend. You need to lock that up. But I also found out through Mr. Ross that Apple uh, does a lot of work with their inner cities. I think that's really great. I'm selling dope straight off the iPhone. Oh. Want to go to jail? Want to go to jail? Disappoint your parents? There's an app for that. I found it funny. <laughs> so, before I get out of here, time's just about done. Um, obviously, I've learned some things about black culture since I moved out of Miami but, uh, 15 years ago. But I come from a really small shelter white town, and it wasn't always that easy. So, when I came here to try to learn about the culture, I kept a little diary, a little journal of sorts. I thought I'd share some of my thoughts. Do you have, uh, do you have some music for that? Some music for something smooth, maybe? Oh, yeah. Anytime. You really have to walk all the way back. You don't. You don't have to. I'll do an acapella. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's gonna like, cut in the middle. and be really awkward. All right. December third, two thousand twelve. Dear diary. I told my friend Keisha she was really cute, and she told me I was so stupid. So I gave her a dirty look and walked away. Didn't realize until it was too late. That was her flirting. So stupid. <laughs> Music makes it better. It's all right. December 15th, 2012, Dear Diary. Saw a guy flirting with a large black woman singing In Those Jeans by Genuine and couldn't help but think, there's definitely no more room for you. <laughs> Welcome to 1997. Welcome back. January 12th, 2013, Dear Diary. I don't know why everyone is making such a big deal about Beyonce's baby. They assume she's going to be a mother, a good mother, but she dropped Destiny's Child twice. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, now we're cooking with gas. Now we cook with peanut butter. February 3rd, 2013, Your Diary. Asked my friend where he was from, and he told me he was just regular black. I guess that makes my light skinned friend diet black. Half the calories, all the rest. February 12th, 2013, your diary. Saw a guy walking around in a Black History Month t-shirt made of 100% cotton. Didn't have the heart to point out the irony. That's a smart joke. March 5th, 2013. Did a church show and they had some black mimes called Silent Worship. I told them they were really good, but I didn't appreciate the white face. It's racist. And finally, March 20th, 2013, dear God, had to break up with my first black girlfriend after only a week, because I didn't have enough time for her. It just takes too long to listen to a full R&B song when I want to leave a voicemail. Alright guys, thank you very much.